The Disc Golf Pro Tour is two-stepping its way down Broadway in Nashville, Tennessee, as we approach the Music City Open here at Mill Ridge Park. No surprise to see Calvin up there at number one. Yeah, and like I was saying, by far the most consistent player. Look at all the rest of these players on the leaderboard. They have a couple good finishes and one average finish, and Calvin is just blowing them away right now, and I think the rest of the players are uh, playing well at some, some of these types of courses and playing not so well at others, and I think right now, hands down, he is the top player in the game right now. Yes, oh. sir. That's the way to start your round. Yeah, you kind of have to lean on an overstable driver. Yes, yes, and that's the play that I've been waiting to see a player make all week. He hasn't missed inside the circle. It's 33% from circle two. And he adds another make, and he is in front all alone at seven under after that one. <laughs> Nicely done by Chris Dickerson. Oh, great pot from Chris Dickerson. Back to 17, eight or hold. Chance to tie the lead at seven under. Yes, sir. Knocks it down. And he is tied with Luke Humphreys at seven down. Going into 18. So really your only option there is to put it in play. <laughs> Long par putt for Raven Newsom. Good shot from Heimberg. If they if they get the nose angle too too high, it's just going to push the disc off to the left, and if they turn the disc too much, that right to left is going to get on top of it and just drag it out of bounds. Very challenging hole here on the seventh. Well, Chris Dickerson showing us how it's done, Nate. Just six birdies here on hole seven, and one of them's from Chris Dickerson with this drive. Yeah, going inside, and he had to throw that with pretty steep hyzer to let the headwind flip it, and now it finally gets helped at the end few more feet that would have dropped right in the bucket jeez louise here's danny bochamp putting for birdie solid player from illinois come on cashing it in blind shot around the tree and his first birdie of the day and that's the way to get on dgn right there danny on 13 putting for birdie yes sir from a knee Macbeth for birdie. There it is. He hasn't had it all round, but finally converts from circle two. There it is for Nico. Yes, sir, Chris Dickerson. He puts the birdie in. He moves to four under. Drop in coming up for Hamas. We go back to Dickerson on 11 for birdie. Gets it to stick. It thought about falling out the right side, but Dickerson continuing to climb the leaderboard. He's now five under with no bogeys. I mean, it pays to have perfect speed on your putts, too. I mean, that was... That was dying out of the flight. Nailed it. 
Third shot for Hamas. Third shot for Burr. Well done. All right, so Chris Dickerson still trying to hunt down the leaders. He's got three holes left to do it. We'll see if he can get to seven down. Keep in mind, if you ring up an ace, you win a custom Gibson guitar. Oh, he wants it. This is the ace line. <laughs> just physically, I guess you would say, and honestly, just some of the mud and some of the wind. It's definitely a little tricky. And I looked at the scores before the round. They weren't that great, so it's definitely playing tricky out here. Well, tough break here on 16, man, and we're looking for you to jam this uh, this spin putt here from Drop Zone. Thanks again, Matty. Thanks, man. And today, double bogey on six. Nestled right between eight pars. Hello, Matty O delivering for the fans and for Nate, ringing it up from the drop zone to save the par. Do we give credit to Nate Perkins? <laughs> we, maybe we should. Adam Hammes closing it out with three birdies and look at that, he's in a tie for third. And that sticks. So Nico gets to three under. You know, we, we saw the leaderboard. We saw how close it was at the top. This is literally the most players that we've ever had within one shot of the lead had at the end of a round at an elite series or a major, 11 players within a stroke heading into Saturday.